Prince of Wales was present at the spiritual home of English rugby when the famous All Blacks were visitors for their third battle with England. Twice before the New Zealanders have emerged victorious, but this match proved a glorious revenge for the mother country. From the start, the white-clad home side burst away in attack and the first score came after half an hour with a glorious try. The ball came to Dunkley, who started the three-quarter movement, Gerard to Cranmer, Cranmer to Prince Obolensky, the flying undergraduate from Oxford University, who streaked for the line with a magnificent burst of speed. England three points up as Dunkley took the kick to convert three points into five, but the ball hit the bar. Still with a lead of three points, England kept on the attack, nor could New Zealand check that flashing three-quarter line. Just before half-time, Cranmer broke down the centre and passed to Candler. Candler swung to Obolensky, and in his first international, Obolensky made a diagonal dash across to the left wing to cross the All Blacks line. Half-time, England six points to the good. In the second half, the All Blacks brought out all their football, but the England 15 were on top. They added four more points when Cranmer dropped the goal following a scrum, and then they clinched the matter with another scintillating try. From the loose, the ball went to Sever, and Sever went into a racing stride. A check and a swerve, and over the line again for England's glorious victory. 13 points to nil. <laughs> 